Good morning. Welcome to the morning prayer meeting. If you have the Bible, look at the Acts chapter 26. Acts chapter 26, verse 1 to 23. Book of Acts chapter 26, verse 1 to 23. Book of Acts chapter 26. Then Agrippa said to Paul, You have a permission to speak for yourself. So Paul motioned with his hand and began his defense. King Agrippa, I consider myself uh, uh, fortunate to stand before you today as I make my defense against all accusation of the Jews, and especially so because you are well acquainted with all the Jews' uh, customs and uh, contributions. Therefore, I beg you to listen to me patiently. Paul, he shared before the King Agrippa, and I say, King Agrippa is a uh, great grandson of King Herod, and uh, King Agrippa is a king of the North uh, Israel, near, near the Galilee area. Then continually he say about um, his testimony. Look, verse 4, the Jews all know the way I have lived ever since I was a child from the beginning of my life in my own country and also in Jerusalem. They have known me for a long time and can testify if they are willing that according to the uh, uh, strictest uh, sect of our religion, I live as a parishes. And now it is because of my hope in what God has promised our Father that I am on trial today. This is the promise our twelve tribes are hoping to see fulfilled as they earnestly serve God day and night. O King, it is because of this hope that the Jews are accusing me. Why should any of you consider it incredible Uh, that God raised the dead. You know, Paul, he, he was a parishes. Parishes believed the resurrection. Somebody died, the laser. He just resurrected. He believed. And he said, you know, I lived as a parishes. Paul, he was a parishes, so religious people. And then, you know, this man, he said, now it is because of my hope in what God has promised our Father, I am on trial today. Because Old Testament, the book of you know, you know, Moses, he speak about the Jesus. And all the prophets speak about the Jesus. And then Jesus uh, is a came and died on the cross. He raised from the dead. Paul, he speak about all these things. And because of these things, Paul now he accused by Jewish people. Verse 9 says, I too also convinced that I ought to do all that was possible to oppose the name of Nas Jesus of Nazareth. Then everybody witnessed what he did in Jerusalem. He is the one who conducted the, the, the people who hate Christianity, who hate to you know, follow Jesus. And he killed Stephen. That is why he say, you know, he opposed the name of in Jesus of Nazareth. Then that it was uh, it's just w what I did in Jerusalem on the, con on the authority of the chief priest. I put many of the saints in prison and when they were put to death, I cast my boat against them. He said, I was witness, I hated Christianity and then I against them. You can see there was 10 to 18, and he shared his testimony. And then he said, verse 11, Acts chapter 26, Many a time I went from one synagogue to another to have them punished. And I tried to force them to bless me, uh, and I, my, uh, in my absence against them, I uh, even I went to foreign cities to persecute them. Where is the foreign cities? Damascus. Do you know this man, he speak about his testimony. I was persecutor. I killed a Christian. 
I, I'm, I, I was a Pharisee. He speak like this. And on verse 12, on one of this journey, now he shared his personal testimony. Personal testimony is very important. How often you can share the personal testimony? You can speak again and again and again. Whenever I preach on the street, I share the, my testimony on the street. Hundred times I, I share my testimony. But he's speaking again. On the cont on of the journey, I was going to Damascus with the, the authority and the commission of the chief priest. About the noon, O king, as I was on the Lord, I saw light from heaven, brighter than the sun, blazing around me and my companions. We are fair to the ground. And I heard a voice saying to me in Aramaic, you know, in Hebrew, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? It is hard for you to kick against the God. And do you know, this man, he speak about uh, his conversion, how he become a born again Christian. And verse 15, then I ask, who are you, Lord? I am Jesus whom you are persecuting. The Lord replied, Now get up, stand on your feet. I have appeared to you to appoint you as a servant and your witness of what you have seen of me and what I will show you. I will rescue you from your own people and from Gentiles. I am sending you to them to open their eyes and turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God, so that you may receive the forgiveness of sins and place among those who are sanctified by faith in me. Thanks be to God. Paul, he shared his testimony, how God changed him. And his job is, what is his job? To open the, the eyes. Do you know? What is my job? To open the eyes of the people <laughs> by the gospel of Lord Jesus. God spoke to Paul, wherever you go, you will open the, the eyes. And there's a job. And then what are you doing? And then God using you, yeah, turn them from darkness to light. You see? You're going to open the eyes and then turn them from darkness to light. And from power of Satan to God. Do you know? From power of uh, from the power of Satan to God. Yeah, can you see that? And they may receive the forgiveness of their sins. Yeah. And and then they will be sanctified by faith. Can you see that? God only used the Paul, these five you know, things. Open their eyes and then turn them from darkness to light and then from the power of Satan to Almighty God, and then receive the forgiveness, and they sanctified by faith in Christ Jesus. This is the message. You know, God spoke to the Paul, and when he become a born again Christian, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? And he received the message from God. And then Paul, he shared his testimony, Acts chapter 26, but he also shared the testimony, Acts chapter 22, verse 6 to 8. I can read it for you. Acts chapter 22, verse 6 to 8, say, About the noon as I came near Damascus, suddenly a bright light from heaven flashing around me. I fell to the ground and heard a voice say to me, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? Who are you, Lord? I asked. I am Jesus of Nazareth, whom you are persecuting. He replied. Yeah, you see? Paul, he shared a testimony again and again in Acts chapter 22 and Acts chapter 26. Therefore, uh, don't be afraid to share your testimony again and again and again. You know, you can do it. You know, Paul, he was sharing the testimony in Jerusalem. Now he's sharing the testimony in uh, Kaishara. Wherever he go, he shared his own testimony, how God changed his life. 
he shared his testimony in front of King Agrippa and in front of chief priests and the leaders and elders of, of Jerusalem. These people, they came to、uh, Kaishara. And now verse 19 says, So then King Agrippa, I was not disobedient to the vision from heaven. First to doge in Damascus, then to doge in Jerusalem and all Judea, and to the Gentiles also. I preach e d that they should repent and turn to God and probe,、uh, probe their repentance by their deed. You know what Paul is saying? You know, wherever Paul he g o he preached the repentance, and people hear the message of repentance. He said, I preach that they, they should repent. They should repent and turn to God. It's so important to repent your sins and turn to God.、Yeah. And prove their repentance by their deed, which means you can show me your fruit of your repentance by your deed, by your change of life.、Yeah. Paul, he s p e a k about the repentance and turn to God. And that is why. The Jews said to me in the temple court and tried to kill me. You know why people tried to kill Paul? Because、uh, Paul, he preached the repentance. I'm telling you, if you preach the repentance,、uh, it's not very、uh, good message in these days. Why? People, they don't want to repent. You know? But Jesus was preaching, repent your sins for the kingdom of God is at hand. Even John the Baptist he was preaching, repent your sins for the kingdom of God is at hand. If, if you're preaching the repent, repentance in these days, not very you know, favorite, favorite message in these days. People want to look i n g for you know, healing and、um, prosperity and、uh, success, all these things. But you have to repent the sins. This kind of message is very important. In these days, especially we live in end time. When you live in end time, we have to preach the repentance. We need to ask the Lord, forgive my sins and forgive the sins of my family.、Yeah? Verse 22. But I have had God to have to this very day. So I stand here and testify to all, small and great alike. I am saying nothing beyond what the prophet and Moses said. Would happen, you see. He s a y I stand here to testify to small and great, anybody in here, kings, king, and the leaders, and the just ordinary people, they can hear the word of God. And he s a y I just speak、uh, because of what、uh, Moses s a y what the prophets say about the Jesus. He d o n t speak any strange things, he s p e a k as you Moses' prophecy. He speaks as a prophet in the Old Testament. And verse 23 says that the Christ would suffer. You see? Christ would suffer. And the, as the first to rise from the dead. You see? He speaks about crucifixion. And he speaks about the resurrection. And would proclaim the lie to his own people and to the Gentiles. You see? We have to deliver the message. You know, verse 23 is very important. He is saying Christ would suffer, which means crucifixion, and then resurrection. And then he preached the gospel, proclaimed the light to his own people, Jewish people, and to the Gentiles. It's very important. He preached the gospel and、um, preached the suffering of Jesus. Crucifixion of Jesus, resurrection of Jesus, and, and then this light, proclaim the light, Jesus, the light of the world, to his own people, Jewish people, and to the Gentiles. Gentiles. You know, if you see the Luke chapter 24, Luke chapter 24, 25 to 27. Luke chapter 24, from 25 to 27. 27, Jesus said to them, How foolish you are! How slow of heart to believe all that the prophet have spoken. Jesus spoke to the people, You don't know about the crucifixion, you don't know about the resurrection, 
you are so foolish. Why? Because all the, all the prophets, and they prophesied about to me. Yeah, you have to believe. And verse 26 say, Did not the Christ have to suffer these things and to enter his glory? You know, suffer means he's, Jesus came to this world and he died on the cross. It's a crucifixion. And his glory is a resurrection. After resurrection, he went to heaven. Verse 27 say, Luke chapter 24, And the beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he explained to them what was said in all the scriptures concerning himself, concerning about the changes. You see, Moses and all the prophets explained, yeah, explained what, what happened about the Savior of the world. But you still not believe that? And about the crucifixion, about the resurrection, you have to believe, you have to understand that. Do you understand? This morning, and as Paul, he shared his testimony, how God changed him. Therefore, it's nothing wrong to share your testimony again and again and again. People will listen to you. Of course, some people are still against uh, the gospel of Lord Jesus, but never give up to share the good news of Lord Jesus, especially your testimony. Again, in your area, in your town, in your country, you can share your testimony. You can share your testimony through the Internet in these days. And, uh, yeah, may God bless you and they share the good news of Lord Jesus Preach the word in season and out of season. Yeah. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to, uh, to share the good news of Lord Jesus. I'll connect chapter 26, verse 1 to 23. Paul, wherever he go, he shared uh, this testimony of how God changed him. He spoke in front of King Agrippa and then before all the leaders of Israel and then priests and then elders. Dear Heavenly Father, would you using us to share your testimony and my testimony, our testimony uh, for your glory. Father, we have a dinner story and how God changed our life. This is my story. This is my, uh, my testimony, Lord. We thank you. And Paul, he shared his testimony for others. The Heavenly Father continue using us. When you share the testimony, people will uh, turn away from Satan to God, turn away from darkness to Jesus. And the Lord help us, people that repent the sin through our testimony through the Gospel of Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Have a wonderful day today. Bye now.